companies from all sectors and across different value chains stand to benefit from platforms and algorithmically driven operational models. Google Maps is a good illustration of such economic phenomena because it gets data from thousands of different websites and applications for its algorithms to be crunched. Google Maps is a platform inside a platform, a new type of a middleware layer. These platforms in our pockets give the appearance of human behavior built on the anthropomorphic swave of the term artificial intelligence itself. Long before the battles of mobile platform domination were fought, many platform companies were using algorithms in their internal processes or as part of their customer offerings. Today, the so-called artificial intelligence refers colloquially to a combination of big data, increased computing capacity, algorithms, machine learning, and especially deep learning. Despite the lack of definitional clarity, these techniques falling broadly under the umbrella of artificial intelligence have been the target of substantial development efforts by the platform companies. Leading platform companies are among the most resourceful and active developers of these technologies. Together with the increasing capabilities and performance of artificial intelligence, software and its new application areas, the role of digital platforms have evolved dramatically. Digital platforms themselves have grown out from the product platforms. While both are distinct forms of platform, the earliest forms of platforms moving towards digitalization were microprocessors. Personal computer and mobile operating system platforms are digital platforms. Operating systems, however, are not only the only form of digital platforms. Digital platforms such as Airbnb have emerged without explicit operating system linkage. The core of such platforms consists of interactions between platform participants, thus creating value without directly holding physical asset and without product sales. Overall, these digital platforms offer new rich technological features and boundary resources, thus not only generating vast amounts of data suitable for artificial intelligence algorithms, but also providing entry points for artificial intelligence utilization. Artificial intelligence utilization may be different across different industrial sectors, and it most probably is. The suitability of third-generation artificial intelligence developed by the digital platform corporations. Platforms relying heavily on past data and OBQ algorithms have important failings. And it is becoming apparent that these types of artificial intelligence software are precarious, cryptic and often unreliable, which creates as much difficulty as potential. Given that artificial intelligence can be considered general-purpose technology and perhaps even a utility, its impacts on the economy and society can be tremendous, while at the same time being difficult to predict in terms of exact scope and location. However, I believe a critical review is in order and I advocate a fresh start clarify what the digital platforms like Google Maps and today's artificial intelligence are realistically suitable for and capable of, and contemplate whether we can solve certain problems by applying alternate modes of operation and more reliable, less monopolist technologies and software solutions.